Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadger.com, here to bring you another gear review, and today, talking iron sights. These right here, which are the Peak Iron Sights by Scala Works. Backing up a step, I cut my teeth on iron sights in the Marine Corps on the M16A2. And since then, I've actually really enjoyed shooting iron sights. Used them my entire time in the Marine Corps and yeah, continue to use them to this day. So my first introduction to these peak iron sights, I believe was actually on soldier systems. Amazing industry blog by Eric Graves. And yeah, I saw this posting on these. And some of the input for these peak iron sights actually came from Larry Vickers. So I don't remember if it was in the comments on basically the post about these sites that I originally saw, or I think I may have actually even just reached out to him in an email and I had a question for him. I was like, hey, you went through and looks like made some amazing sites with Scalar Works. Why did you make the wings come out basically protecting that front sight? Because up to that point, I had also used some of the, I think Troy, which have kind of the HK style front sights where it's essentially a hood that kind of makes a circle. And when you get into iron sights, the way they work, the way these type of sights work is you're basically lining something up in the center of a circle and the eye is really good at doing that. And so my thinking was why not have that other front circle up here and then you basically have circle within a circle help the eye. And he patiently explained to me that the reason you don't do that and these are not made like that is most with a basically round kind of circular hood the hood doesn't move the front post moves independently of it so you have this which is not centered in that front basically hood circle and so it can it basically has a potential to throw you off pretty easy because you're trying to line up circles then in addition to centering something it doesn't work like that so that was my introduction to the peak iron sights fast forward a year or two after initially seeing them Finally got to put hands on them and actually got my first set of peak iron sights. I used them on the Radian Model 1. I was competing with in that first Tactical Games 2018 North Carolina. They did amazing. Granted, they were largely on there as like backup iron sights. I think we maybe had one stage that used them, but they did great for me. Since then, I've used them on a number of different guns and put in a lot of time with them. I also shot a Rune Nation level 1 carbon course using just the peak iron sights and made it work. At one point, I entered into a little local matchup here called the America match. It was just carbine only. I think it was six different stages. And I shot them in kind of the irons only class. And they did amazing. Really fun being able to, yeah, just run around and shoot iron sights. A lot of people don't shoot iron sights because I guess one, they maybe never learned or just don't really like it, feel they're slower with it. And Definitely an argument to be made, but they're a lot of fun. And I had a great time shooting that competition with the peak iron sights. Sorry, I blew the tape off. Two nine, five nine.
And if you're on the Coast to Coast tour, you probably had a chance to shoot them. I actually had a Brownells Burin 180 and 300 Blackout and peak iron sights on that. And people got to shoot that and that thing was definitely a blast. Let's talk briefly about some of the stuff that actually makes these Scalaworks iron sights special. So first and foremost, not designed to run a 20 inch sight radius. What do I mean by that? Well, M16, A1, A2, A4, all the M16s like full size 20 inch barrels built around a 20 inch sight radius. So from the back of the receiver to the front sight block, you have 20 inches. Well, most people aren't shooting a like 20 inch sight radius on their guns. Most people have carbine lengths or carbine length handguards, mid length, something along those lines. So they actually went out and designed this around a 15 inch sight radius. So for reference, 15 inches would be probably right in there. This is sitting at about 17 inches. What does that mean? Well, if you have a 20 inch sight radius, the width of your front sight is gonna be X wide, which is gonna pair really nicely with your rear aperture when you have that full 20 inch sight radius. It'll be thin enough to where you can actually refine your point of aim and get good shots to include a distance without having this huge block of a front sight. Problem being, a lot of companies are like, oh cool, like that's the width of the front sight. Cool, we're gonna make some backup iron sights. And they do just that. And then you mount them at like a 15 inch sight radius or sometimes even shorter depending on the gun. And now you have this massive block of a front sight that is really difficult to use because one, it takes up most of your rear aperture because it's so wide and yeah, it's difficult to actually refine your point of aim. From the word go, Scalaworks addressed this by basically creating dimensionally something set up for a 15 inch sight radius, which most guns are these days. Another thing Scalaworks did an amazing job with, with these iron sights is incredibly lightweight, incredibly robust. They start their life as a piece of billet, 7076 T6 aluminum and precision CNC machined. And the set of these together weighs, I think just under two and a half ounces, which is probably the lightest, like fixed backup iron sights you can find on the market. Incredibly lightweight. And on top of that, just the design element, really smooth, low profile, nothing sticking out not gonna get caught on your gear or like tear you up, which I definitely appreciate. Something else really well executed is on your rear aperture. Basically the back of this, whether it's your kind of zero to 200 or your precision, your smaller aperture, the back is machined completely flat. So what this does is some back of iron sights or iron sights on like M16A2, for example, it's a scallop and what can happen is you can basically catch light in that little scallop, even though it's just all anodized black, you can catch light in there and it can basically throw it off. So this essentially alleviates that. Same with the front sight post. Some front sight posts are rounded. And again, you can catch light at different angles, can distract the eye. These are completely squared off. Also really easy to adjust. Up here, you have this wheel, which you just move. It translates to 0.5 MOA increments. And that is actually an amazing feature. I can't stand the little detent because you're always trying to use, I don't know, basically a round, like the actual projectile or a front sight tool. This alleviates all of that. And additionally, back here, this adjusts easy, but at the same time, not so easy that you're actually concerned with it basically throwing off your windage when this thing's getting banged around. Another thing I really appreciate about these actually comes with its little instruction page and a T25 Torx bit. So you don't have to use search around for a bit, actually comes with a bit to put these on as well as torque values. So you put these on correctly and through magic, otherwise known as math, basically gives you a formula to figure out what your adjustments are gonna be. So per the formula, you measure, or I'm sorry, you take 
7.5 divided by your site radius, in this case, 17 inches, and that's gonna give you how many MOA per click with respect to your windage back here, which is awesome. So you can figure out exactly what you're dialing on rather than just like, well, make some bold adjustments and kind of go from there. That I think is really cool. Are these for everyone? Probably not, especially if one, you don't know how to use iron sights, or two, you really only have iron sights because the internet said you should have backup iron sights on your gun. If you fall into those two categories, probably not. However, if you don't know how to use iron sights and you want to, I would encourage you to get these. Incredibly well made, lightweight, and going back to modern guns, actually built around that 15 inch sight radius. These things are amazing. How much are they? About 240 bucks, I think, whether it's through Scalar Works or places like Brownells. Is that expensive? Yes, especially if you're just getting them as an accessory for your gun because the internet said you need backup iron sights. Yeah, they're probably expensive. If you're actually getting them because you shoot with iron sights, no, I think there's a lot of value there super lightweight, incredibly robust, actually made for modern guns with that shorter sight radius. Yeah, I think they're awesome. If you pick some up and have some experience with them, let me know how they've done for you. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.